you, Stampers, and thanks for joining me today. My boys and I have done a lot of camping this summer, both together and they've also been camping with the Scouts. And this card really sums up our summer vacation. I just absolutely love it. Very, very cool, very fun, and surprisingly very easy. Let's get started. I'm going to start with our shape using some Ivory Naturals cardstock from Stampin' Up! and the Apothecary Accents Framelits. That is very fun to say, and I'm sure I didn't say it right. I'm using this framelit die. Let me show you how it works. I'm going to line the die up on a piece of cardstock. I'm going to sandwich that between two cutting pads. These happen to be very loved cutting pads. And they're going on the very top, which is tab two of the multi-purpose cutting platform that comes with the Big Shot Machine. And then we're going to crank that right through the Big Shot Machine. And when it comes out, ta-da, just pops out in that shape. Very cool. I'm going to do the bottom half in the So Saffron and the top half in the Pumpkin Pie and I'm making sure to overlap the two. If you see any marks, just keep working them right in. Then I'm going to take soft suede and just do the very bottom edge. I don't want to go up too high with that, just, just along the edge here. And then I'm going to take some cherry cobbler and do the exact same thing along the top. Just to really make that color pop. Isn't it beautiful? Now for our images, I'm going to take two Stampin' Up! stamp sets. A brand new one called The Great Outdoors. It's a great camping set, but I really think it also makes a great set for Boy Scouts. And the chair also makes a great set for soccer moms. And the Pursuit of Happiness stamp set, which is another of my favorite word sets. I'll be taking this one now and then it's good to pause in our pursuit of happiness and just be happy. I'll be stamping these in some basic black ink. I found it easiest to do the words first. As close to the left hand edge as you can get because it's kind of tight with both. And then our fire. Then I'm taking two Stampin' Right markers and I'll be using the brush tip ends which I can tell because it's the wider stripe. We've got the pumpkin pie and we've got soft suede. We use the soft suede to color in the logs of the fire and the pumpkin pie to color in the flame. Now to really bring this fire to life, I took a Stampin' Up! white gel pen and drew a few white lines along the edge of the flame. This is going to lighten up a little bit when I put some crystal effects on, but the crystal effects just brings that to life. Isn't that amazing? I mean, it looks like it's on fire. So here's some Stampin' Up! crystal effects. I'm going to actually put a dab of that right in the middle and kind of move it around with the tip of the applicator. I'm just coloring in the flame. The crystal effects will need a little time to dry, so you can put that aside while it dries. The card base is 8.5 by 5.5 folded in half. These are my standard size and they fit in a Stampin' Up! medium envelope. And then I'm going to take some Naturals Ivory card stock, a quarter of an inch smaller, and all of these dimensions are listed on my blog at this address here. And You can also purchase all of these supplies here as well. I'm also going to place a panel of Ivory Naturals on the inside and I'll use some snail adhesive to attach those. I'm taking some Stampin' Up! foam dimensional pop dots and that is all there is to this beauty. Isn't that amazing? Just simply great, whether it's for scouting, whether it's for camping, whether it's just for inspiration. It's a fantastic, fantastic card, and I just love the stamp set. Again, you can purchase all of these supplies on my website, as well as you'll find tons more samples and inspiration. Thanks for joining me today. Mm -hmm.